Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about uh, why I recently switched uh, from using Sketch uh, to using Figma and um, I'm going to talk about the benefits uh, and the advantages that uh, Figma has over Sketch uh, but uh, in the second part of the video I'm also going to talk about uh, where are the key strengths uh, of Sketch uh, and uh, where Figma needs to catch up at the moment and uh, also the reason why I'm still using Sketch uh, from time to time so let's get started. The very first reason why I chose Figma over Sketch is the real-time collaboration feature and uh, as I'm working 100% remotely with uh, clients from all around the world, um, having collaboration uh, and live collaboration especially makes things a whole lot easier. Now the great thing about Figma is that uh, once you create a design file and a design project, you can simply click uh, at the very top right uh, on the share button and uh, you're going to have a shareable link similar to what uh, you have with uh, Google Docs uh, and uh, you can just send the link to the client and uh, he can immediately have access to the project uh, and uh, also see the live uh, view that you're having if they click on uh, their uh, on your profile icon um, as well as uh, the mouse so you can even like point out things uh, and uh, you can even have a meeting uh, where you just have an audio call and uh, the client is in Figma and uh, you're basically collaborating without even the need of uh, sharing the screen which is pretty cool. Now on top of that uh, the client uh, has uh, essentially access to your uh, Figma file which um, has its pros and has its cons but uh, in my experience with the clients that I'm working um, the pros definitely outweigh the cons uh, and uh, the client uh, you know sometimes especially if you're doing a wireframe or if you're at an early stage in the design project uh, um, the client might want to change the text, uh, might want to change like some, some really small elements uh, and uh, by having the Figma file they can do these tweaks uh, themselves their uh, so they don't need to like uh, bother you with uh, um, changing like small text and small things uh, and uh, this is uh, adds um, to their experience so it's actually something which is more valuable to them because they don't want to uh, maybe waste a lot of time on minutiae details and uh, but I mean it's, it's totally up to them and uh, they have that additional freedom which they don't really have with Sketch and uh, the another great feature about Figma is the ability of uh, having all of the comments directly in Figma now previously when I was using Sketch uh, um, I would export uh, all of the UI designs uh, into Envision and then uh, into Envision I can uh, send a link to the client and uh, uh, the client can leave comments in Envision but the thing with that is that every single time I make a change to the sketch file I need to push an update in Envision and uh, this is not really practical on the, a long term um, thing because uh, um, you just need to push constantly updates uh, and uh, it can be a little bit, uh, it, it can definitely slow down the process and make it less efficient while on Figma you're always dealing with the latest version no matter what. Another great thing about Figma is that uh, all of your design files are in the cloud. So essentially you log in with uh, um, your account and uh, you have uh, all of your design files in that one account which um, is really great because uh, once you access Figma either in your browser or in the dedicated uh, standalone Figma app uh, you're basically having access to all of your design files directly from there which uh, is a cool thing because it allows you to have uh, um, the general picture and uh, all of the client work directly from one view which uh, you know it's a uh, it's a quite cool thing also Figma has a, a very um, easy uh, learning curve especially if you're coming from Sketch because a lot of the dynamics are pretty much the same and um, you're just going to need to learn some uh, um, different uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, but uh, at the end of the day it's uh, very similar to, to Sketch uh, and um, it's pretty cool. Now another great thing about Figma is their symbols and uh, shared libraries and uh, essentially how you organize design systems because uh, um, I've been a huge fan of creating design systems in Sketch uh, 
Uh, however, I noticed that sometimes when you're working with symbols, nested symbols, it can be a little bit uh, difficult and the process uh, is not really that straightforward, especially when you're working with uh, big clients. I mean, I, I work on projects for multi-million dollar companies and uh, I know that once you're working on a big project, uh, with symbols, things can get uh, um, pretty insane at times, uh, especially when you're going to the nested symbols and you're trying to make everything uh, perfect on a very large scale. Um, and Figma has uh, a slightly different way to approach uh, the uh, design system uh, libraries, which uh, makes more sense. Uh, so one of the examples is colors. In, um, in Sketch, uh, you would need to uh, set up different color parameters for different symbols and uh, uh, there are uh, ways to, to go around that uh, and uh, make it uh, more flexible but in Figma it's uh, much more straightforward so um, that is definitely a plus uh, as well as some other things and uh, just the ability to have a shared library uh, on the cloud which is uh, pretty easy to use and uh, it's uh, already inside the software that really makes uh, the whole uh, experience much easier and uh, much smoother and uh, faster especially if you're working with uh, teams uh, all around the world or in different offices so yeah that, that is definitely something which uh, I really like about Figma now up to this point we only spoke about uh, the pros of uh, Figma However, there are some definitely some cons uh, and uh, some areas in which uh, I think that Sketch uh, is definitely uh, better at this point than Figma and that uh, Figma needs to catch up with that. The very first uh, area is uh, the plugins. Now, Figma at the moment do not uh, support uh, um, plugins and um, that's actually an area where Sketch uh, uh, is dominating because uh, they have so many uh, plugins from uh, different great authors and uh, this really makes the software very flexible and there are plugins for pretty much everything you can imagine and uh, these plugins, like some of these plugins are super super useful um, one, of, one that comes to mind is uh, Sketch Runner uh, that's a great plugin to just make the workflow faster and more efficient um, as well as many others. I mean, uh, I used to have like uh, uh, 15 or 20 plugins in Sketch, uh, which uh, uh, I used pretty regularly, especially when creating large projects. And uh, that is definitely um, a great advantage that Sketch has. Another great advantage is uh, um, my opinion the fact that the files are kept from clients and in some cases this can be really key especially if you're working remotely with a new client um, you never know like currently in figma once you uh, give out that link um, i don't think there is like an option from um, preventing the client to actually steal your work um, even if it's uh, in view only mode. So that's definitely something which uh, um, kind of worries me uh, if uh, I were to start uh, working with a new client and uh, um, maybe I don't have like an upfront payment or, or, or stuff like that. So definitely keep in mind the upfront, the upfront payment. Um, but um, it's just something which I think that they need to, to work on and uh, definitely keep uh, in consideration. Another thing uh, which uh, is a little bit more granular and specific, um, it's about the export options. Currently in Sketch, uh, you can select the, the size and the weight uh, of the file. So for example, if I want to export a JPEG image, um, I can select uh, the percentage of quality of that JPEG image uh, and uh, this is something which uh, I cannot currently do in Figma, so uh, although the images are optimized, uh, I guess, uh, I can't really um, select that, uh, that percentage, so the resolution is going to be of a uh, high level, but if I need to export uh, assets for web, uh, um, I definitely want to keep that file size smaller, so this is definitely something which uh, I hope that they will include uh, in, uh, in Figma soon because uh, uh, it's definitely something which uh, um, is not good because the workflow becomes uh, harder because I need to simply uh, 
download the image and then resize it in another software. So, you know, there, I, I wouldn't really see the need of doing that if they can just add a toggle um, to, um, to select the size. Uh, however, I hope they're, they're working on this. Another thing where Sketch has an advantage is uh, the limited cost because uh, Although the um, although Sketch costs uh, ninety nine dollars up front, I think um, I, I, I'm, uh, prices might might vary. Um, Figma essentially it's free up to two editors. However, if you want to have more than two editors uh, in the team, uh, um, you need to buy to, to buy a subscription, which is uh, around ten or twelve twelve bucks a month, uh, I think. Um, I, I need to double check, uh, and again, pricing may, may vary based on uh, the time in which you're, you're watching this video. Um, however, if you want to have many editors, uh, which uh, is not a, a scenario which happens often, but uh, if you have a, a large team, uh, prices can go up uh, um, quite significantly in a small amount of time. So this is something which uh, you might want uh, to check with your team and see what makes more, more sense. Um, however, yeah, Sketch is uh, uh, definitely uh, friendly when it comes to the pricing and um, yeah, it works, uh, works pretty well. Another great thing about Sketch is that uh, currently they have tons of resources. I mean, I myself, uh, I'm a, uh, a creator of uh, many, many UI kits uh, and I'm leaving the link in the description below. Uh, you can check out uh, my uh, UI kits uh, on uh, UI8. Uh, um, as well as, as many others in uh, that website, which um, I think it's the, the world's best website when it comes to um, UI kits and the UI resources. That being said, uh, Sketch has so many resources at the moment, which uh, um, <clears throat> is really dom dominating the market when it comes to uh, that area. So when it comes to UI kits, uh, frameworks and things of that nature, Sketch definitely has uh, uh, a very large uh, database of assets which you can find on the web, both free and, and paid. So that is definitely something to consider. Also, you want to consider that if you're applying for jobs uh, or if you're applying for consulting or contract gigs, uh, Sketch uh, is still one of the most widely used uh, design softwares in the world. So although Figma is uh, really catching up and uh, I'm seeing more and more teams uh, using Figma, um, Sketch uh, is definitely not going to go anywhere um, soon. So uh, keep in mind that uh, knowing how to use Sketch uh, is uh, definitely um, a, good, a very good asset at this point. And um, I think that uh, they're still going to be a major player in the years to come. Now, this is pretty much it for this video. Um, I just want to wrap it up uh, saying that uh, both design tools, uh, I think, are really, really good. And ultimately, it comes down to personal preference, personal workflow, and uh, um, yeah, I mean, it really comes down to these two points. Again, guys, I'm working 100% remotely, so the collaboration features in Figma for me are, are very important. However, if you're working in an office or if uh, you're following different workflows and um, maybe you do uh, projects which uh, don't involve a lot of uh, revisions and, th and things of that nature or maybe not uh, uh, having the need of uh, a lot of um, collaboration directly inside the tool, Sketch can be uh, can, can still be an amazing option, and uh, um, I'm still using it from time to time, and I've been using it uh, for many many years. I love the tool, especially since uh, before Sketch, uh, I came from Photoshop, uh, which uh, was absolutely um, um, bad, bad to use uh, for for UI design compared to Sketch. Like everything was was slower, it was more difficult, but I don't need to borrow you with that. Um, if you've been in, in the game for uh, quite a few years, you totally understand what I'm saying. So yeah, guys, ultimately the choice comes down to you. Now, if you like this video, leave uh, a thumbs up uh, and uh, uh, I want to hear from you guys what design uh, uh, software you're using at the moment. Uh, do you prefer Figma? Do you prefer Sketch? Are you using Adobe XD, which is another really good tool that we're going to talk about uh, in uh, one of the next uh, 
videos. I just wanted to keep this video really focused on just uh, Sketch and Figma, but uh, we're definitely going to talk a lot more about uh, Adobe XD and uh, the reason why I, why I'm using that one too. And um, so yeah, guys, I'm really curious to hear your, your comments. Uh, so comment below and uh, let me know what do you prefer uh, the most, Sketch or Figma. This is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.